Hi, this is Ian Murray, and today I'm going to show you how to accessorize the M3. First, we're going to run through all the accessories you should have, including the red and black cables, the cable attachment clips, the black handles with foot straps and the red handles, the X and S straps, you'll have two S and one X, the Velcro cuff and bungee, and the handlebar covers. You'll note that there's four regular covers on the top, and then two sets of left and rights on the bottom. Of course, we know that the most important component on the machine is the cables, so we're going to start there. Grab the horseshoe-shaped connector and the black cable, and we're going to pull the little screw out of the horseshoe connector, put it through this tab on the arm, and then put it through the top of the pulley that attaches to the black cable. After this cable is attached, we're going to come over here onto the carriage and attach this uh, pull tab connector onto these holes located below. You'll notice there's a lot of them. Where you want to put it is your preference. After we have that, we're just going to simply take the foot strap handle and attach it to the carabiner on the other end. Then take this whole step that you've just done and repeat it on the other side of the machine. Next, we're going to take the bigger clip that's used on the red cable. You'll notice that there's a key ring sort of device on the bottom. We pull the key ring out and you can release the pin. Then you can put it through the pulley on the top of the red cable and reinsert the key ring like so. Presto. You're going to come over here to the end of the machine where you'll see these three holes in a line. The bottom hole is where you're going to attach this pull tab connector. Like you did before, you can attach the other pull tab connector at the end of the cable onto the carriage. Just like you did with the black handle, we're going to attach the red handle to the carabiner. Next, we're going to take the Velcro X strap and put it around these two guide rails in front of the springs as shown. Simple enough, right? Now we come over here onto the carriage where we are going to take the S strap and unthread the D-ring loop it around these attachments and re-thread it, as shown. Over here on the front of the machine where we find the bungee bar, we're going to wrap the Velcro cuff around the bungee bar like shown and attach the carabiner at the end of the bungee to the cuff. Last but not least is the handlebar covers. Taking the top covers shown earlier, we're going to come over and put these on the top handles on all of them. So we're going to have to take this and pull it over the edge and then just hit the end with your other hand and eventually it should slide all the way on. Occasionally you may get a handlebar cover that's a little tight, it doesn't seem like it's going on. In this event, just spray the handle with some hairspray or a silicone lube or something and it should glide right over. You'll notice that on the curved covers we have a left and a right. Uh, this doesn't correlate exactly to the left and right side of the machine, but instead has to do with where the stitching is. You want the stitching to always face down towards the floor on the curved cover. So each side is actually going to get both a left and right. And there you have it. You've put accessories on your Megaformer. Have fun exercising.